Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we declared all the structures, internal table and work areas for VBAK, VBAP and MAKT. Now we will start with writing the queries. We will start with writing the queries of VBAK, VBAP and MAKT. So I will go for first query that is for VBAK table. So we all know what is the keyword to write a select query. The keyword is select. From VBAK table, I require how many column? Only one column. That is VBELN. So I will write VBELN. I want to fetch from which table? VBA. From VBA. And I will store into internal table. So what is the keyword for the same? Into table. What is the name of first internal table? LT underscore VBA. Now, where part is important and we will get a learning here. Where? Now, in the where condition, we are fetching data from VBAK table based upon two where condition. What are the two where condition? One is your date and one is your user name. Date and user name. Because based upon that only you are fetching data from VBAK table. That is the first thing which we studied. Yes, we should firstly, firstly fetch data from VBAK table based upon the date and the user name. So how I will give if I will go to VBAK table and show you what is the column name for that date. The column name for that date is ER dat ER dat. So I will write ER dat. Now I will not use equal to. It is compulsory. You need to use in in because you have the select option. Select option. Your input both are select option. Or you can say you are both are range internal tables. So I will simply write ER dat in SER dat. And what is the second input? And ER num. What is the column name for username? ER num in SER num. So I will simply, simply go for the syntax check and activation. So whatever the input of the date and username you will give, based upon that input, we are fetching data from VBAK table and data will come into which internal table? LT underscore VBAK. Date will go to which column? ER dat. Name will go to which column? ER num. Just see, we already understood this process. If I will go to the contents, date will go to which column? ER dat. Username will go to which column? ER num. Same thing we are doing here. So our first query is ready. Now, we will go for second query, second query. Now we are fetching data from second table based upon the data present in the first internal table, first internal table. And you all know whenever we are fetching data from foreign key tables or dependent tables, we should always, always check for internal table is not initial or you can check for size sub RC zero condition. So I will simply write if first internal table is not 
initial. We all know is not initial means is not null, is not blank, is not empty. If data will come into this internal table, it means our this query processed successfully, successfully. If this query processed successfully, after that only we will fetch data from BBAP table. If this query itself failed, why, why we should go for dependent table fetching? So whenever this query is successful, data will always, always come into this internal table. So you can check based upon is not initial or you can write size sub bar C equal to zero also. It is your wish. Now I will write the second query. So I will write select. From the second table, we want to fetch how many column data? Five column data. So I will write five column. What is first column? VBELN. Then we have Postnar. Then we have Matenar. K-W-M-E-N-G, V-R-K-M-E. So we are fetching data of five columns. We are fetching from which table? B-B-A-P table, B-B-A-P. Now I will store into internal table, into table. What is the name of second internal table? L-T underscore V-B-A-P. Now, how, on what basis we are fetching that data for all entries in which internal table? First internal table. What is first internal table? LT underscore VBAK. But in this first internal table also, what will, which column will act as a, which column data will act? as an input for VBAP, VBELN, because we all know what is the relationship between VBAK, VBAP. VBELN of VBAK table is VBELN of VBAP table. So I will write where VBELN is equal to First internal table VBELN. So whatever is in the first internal table VBELN column, that will act as a input for which particular table VBAP table, which particular column VBELN. Yes, we all know the values always, always pass from right to left. So whatever is in the first internal table, VBELN column, that will pass to VBELN of VBAP table. It will fetch the data of these five column and data will come into this internal table. You can simply compare by this also. Suppose if I'm executing, if I will just go for write date, suppose I'm going for 23rd. So I'll just check, I think 23rd, eight was the date. Suppose I'm giving you date and username based upon this two combination, we will fetch data from VBAK table, which column data we are fetching, VBELN. So 77 and 78, these two values will come into which internal table? LT underscore VBAK. So in this internal table, LT underscore VBAK, what is VBELN? 77, 78. It will go to which column? VBELN or which table? VBAP table. If I will go to VBAP table, in VBAP table, which column we are referring? VBELN, VBELN. 
and what is the value 77 78 77 78 if i will simply simply go to execute yes we will fetch data of only how many column five column v b e l n post nar mate nar and we have two other columns also and data will come into which particular internal table this internal table lt underscore v b a p now we will go for third query third query now third table is dependent on the second second because there is no relationship between first and third the relationship it is between second and third table this is the most common mistake people think it's always first to second second to third third to fourth it is not the case sometimes it might be the case your third table has a common column with first. So it is not the case that always first is second, second is third, third is fourth. It is never, never the case. You should check what is the common, common column between the table. What is the data common between both the tables? Yes. Now we will fetch data from third table based upon second second because matinar is common between both the tables so i will write if lt underscore vbap is not initial now if this internal table is not initial only in that case we will fetch data from which table and make kt table and make kt table this simple example if material numbers if material numbers are not coming in the second internal table how how you can fetch data from makt table because in vbap and makt what is common matinar is common so I will simply, simply write the query now from the third table, select how many columns data you want to fetch two columns. One is Matena and another is MAKTX from third table. I will fetch the data of two columns. Now we will fetch data from which table and make KT table. Now I will store into internal table, into table, LT underscore MAKT. Now the important part, I will write here for all entries in of which internal table, second internal table. What is second internal table? LT underscore VBAP. Now, in this second internal table also, which column data is input where matenar is equal to second internal table matenar. So, second internal table matenar is acting as a input for matenar column of and make kt table you can simply simply understand by this also this is the matinar in your second internal table so these matinar these matinar will act as a input for which table and make kt table if i will do control y control c these matinar will act as a input for which table third table what is our third table and make kt and i if i will paste it will fetch data of how many column two columns what are the, those two column matinar and makatx and data will come into which particular internal table this lt underscore makt now I will check the syntax and activate the program.
this video is important especially in this video yes we have written the queries from three tables yes and this is the major confusion which maximum people ask whenever we have more than two tables how we can do that yes so what is the summary of the video we fetch data from the first table based upon creation date and user name after that we fetch data from vbap table based upon the vbeln of first table after that we fetch data from MAKT table based upon the matinar of the second table, whatever the material numbers we are getting. In the next video, we will cover two extremely important points for MAKT table. Extremely, extremely important points. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.